Now, maybe you guys don't know, but this upcoming Saturday, New Year's Day, will be the last peach drop in Atlanta. So the peach drop, our annual countdown to the new year, it will be no more at Underground, at least, because Underground has now been sold to a private developer, WRS Realty, out of South Carolina. This particular developer is really known for doing suburban strip malls and anchoring those tenants with a Walmart. Now, the private developer has now received the land as well as the, the adjoining sidewalks and streets for its own private development and private use. Now, how does that happen? It happens really through one thing. You can look at section 138-9 of the city council. But what the city did was abandon those streets to that private company. Now, why is this pretty much controversial? Because you're allowing public space to be given to a private company. Now, the developer has said that they're going to keep the lanes open for pedestrian and bike use, but it's for them to better control the environment. So if anybody who isn't from Atlanta, let me just break you down on why this is kind of significant. Underground Atlanta, one of our most historical places. Number two, Underground Atlanta, as of 2016, has a very large homeless population, and it is scary to a lot of people who are from the suburbs. Why do you ask? Because, well, there's people who look like me. Well, tall people. Who... Now, Underground Atlanta has had a history of both positive and negative, but over the last few years, it seemed to have more of a negative connotation. Underground Atlanta in particular is really significant because we've had a lot of historical incidents that have happened there, namely the 1906 race riots, which has happened around the streets of Atlanta. This is something that, unfortunately, will probably not be carried over with the new developer. And if you guys don't know what that meant, the 1906 race riots happened in September of 1906, which resulted in dozens of black people being killed at that particular location. The other location of Underground Atlanta, Kenny's Alley, is where some of the first enslaved Africans were brought to Atlanta for slave auctions. I doubt both of these are going to be transferred over to the new owner. But what I will say is that I hope the new owner doesn't destroy all these landmarks and these artifacts because this tells the story of Atlanta that we need to know. We got to ask, a hundred years from now, are we going to ask about the place that was a historical designation from the first railroad tracks that General Sherman even marched to the sea in? Or are we going to ask about that development that had another Walmart in it?